NASA accomplished an incredible feat in 1969 when it successfully landed people on the moon, capping off years of intensive research and development. Once the Apollo program finished in 1972, NASA never returned to the moon, despite the first triumph. This video will explore the reasons behind this decision. High cost. One of the primary reasons why NASA never went back to the moon is the high cost involved in such an endeavor. The Apollo program was incredibly expensive, and the US government, already facing budgetary constraints, was not willing to allocate the same level of funding for another moon mission. Additionally, the cost of developing new technology and building spacecraft for a lunar mission would have been prohibitively high. Lack of public interest. After the initial excitement and euphoria surrounding the Apollo 11 mission, public interest in lunar exploration waned. Most people saw the moon landing as a symbolic achievement rather than a scientific one. As a result, there was less public pressure for NASA to continue sending astronauts to the moon. Shifting priorities. After the end of the Apollo program, NASA's focus shifted towards developing the Space Shuttle program and exploring the potential of low Earth orbit. This was driven by the belief that building a reusable spacecraft would be more cost-effective than sending humans to the moon. Additionally, NASA started investing in other projects like the Hubble Space Telescope and the International Space Station, which became the agency's top priorities. Political considerations. The Apollo program was driven in large part by political considerations, specifically the Cold War rivalry between the US and the Soviet Union. After the US had won the race to the moon, the political will to continue lunar exploration waned. Moreover, NASA had achieved its primary goal of demonstrating technological superiority over the Soviet Union, and there was little political incentive to continue exploring the moon. Lack of scientific value. Although the Apollo missions provided valuable scientific insights into the moon, there were questions about the long-term scientific value of continuing lunar exploration. NASA had already gathered samples and data from the moon during the Apollo missions, and many scientists believed that there was little to be gained from additional moon missions. Furthermore, NASA was focused on other scientific endeavors like exploring the outer planets and searching for signs of life on Mars, which were believed to have a greater scientific value. Safety concerns. The Apollo missions were incredibly risky, and there were several close calls during the program, including the near-fatal explosion of the Apollo 13 spacecraft. With advances in technology, NASA could have made moon missions safer, but the risk of human casualties would always be present. Additionally, there was growing public concern about the dangers of space travel, and the potential political fallout from a catastrophic accident could have been significant. In addition to NASA, several private companies have also expressed interest in lunar exploration. SpaceX, founded by entrepreneur Elon Musk, has announced plans to send humans to the moon, and eventually establish a permanent settlement on Mars. Other companies like Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic are also working on developing technology for lunar exploration and space tourism. Despite the renewed interest in lunar exploration, there are still challenges that need to be overcome. One of the biggest challenges is the cost of such an endeavor, which is estimated to be in the billions of dollars. There are also safety concerns, as human spaceflight always carries a certain degree of risk. Additionally, there are still questions about the long-term scientific value of continued lunar exploration, although proponents argue that there is still much to be learned about the moon and its potential for supporting human life. In conclusion, there were several reasons why NASA never went back to the moon after the Apollo program. These included the high cost of such an endeavor, shifting priorities, lack of public interest, political considerations, safety concerns, and doubts about the long-term scientific value of continuing lunar exploration. However, despite these obstacles, there are now renewed efforts to return humans to the moon, with NASA and private companies working towards a new era of lunar exploration. Do not forget to like, 
share and subscribe to our channel, Explified.